Kevin Ford is a longtime employee of the town of Kelvington, Saskatchewan, where it's not unusual to get a large dump of snow in a short period of time during the winter. A number of years ago, Kevin decided a snowblower would help speed up the town's snow removal operations. You're basically scooping it out of town, ridging it up and scooping it out and loading it with a, with a loader or a backhoe. And uh, myself, I just felt that uh, it uh, probably be done a little bit uh, easier, especially on the operator, uh, if we could uh, blow it and load a, load a truck that way. I'd, I'd seen it done in the cities and uh, it made sense to me that, uh, that that should work. After doing some research, he chose an old 915 International Combine as the power unit for this snowblower project. It came highly recommended by his friend Herb Holman from the nearby town of Faustin, who had completed a similar project. He thought that would work about the best because of the, uh, the gear drive on the, the back side of the motor. Uh, there's a clutch in there and then there's uh, the straight through shaft that uh, runs the combine components and on the angle drive was the hydrostatic and hydraulic pumps. And that was all right on the back of the combine on one skid. After removing the harvesting components from the combine, Kevin used as many of the remaining parts as possible in his snowblower project. The unit still has the original radiator, clutch, and 404 cubic inch turbocharged engine. It's all on this skid, so when it came off the, off the uh, upper deck of the combine, it just came over and it sat down on this old uh, piece of truck frame that I repurposed for the frame of the combine. So it went from sitting 90 degrees on the back of the combine to facing this way. He decided to use the old 10-foot piece of truck frame simply because the combine frame wasn't strong enough for the extra weight. For running the snowblower PTO, he removed the large pulley which previously ran the harvesting components and had it modified. Took it to a machine shop and machined it to the end of that drive shaft. When you put the, uh, engage the uh, operator clutch now that would normally, would used to be engage the combine, it now engages the PTO line that powers the snowblower. The oil reservoir and gearbox, which drives the snowblower PTO, came off a 2670 case tractor. When he first tried out his combine-powered snowblower, he had some trouble with engine freeze-up from all the snow dust flying around. But he managed to find an effective, low-cost solution. I just uh, repurposed a, a piece of uh, swather canvas and uh, wrapped it around the engine here. So I've got a little hook on here. And There's our, there's our engine. Kevin narrowed the frame so the modified combine would follow behind the 110 inch Schulte snowblower. The blower came with a truck loading chute which he felt was an important feature for this application. If it hadn't have had that chute, I'd have been looking to build one. Um, it doesn't throw snow as far possibly as you'd want it. Lots of times uh, you'd like to really throw the snow far. It loses a lot of velocity going uphill, but uh, that's what you need to load a truck. It, you, you lose that velocity and you can direct it down into the truck without it you know, splattering all over the place. For lifting and lowering the snowblower, he came up with his own three-point hitch configuration. We just used the uh, cylinders that lifted the header on the combine and uh, just uh, just put a pivot on the, the, the front there and uh, just pivot it and lift the, uh, lift the arms that way and it uh, worked real good. Even though the 915 International Combine cab is a little on the small side, he has enough room for all the controls he needs to operate the snowblower. Uh, this is the header lift. It, uh, it's hooked up to lift the blower up and down. And then this here is the forward reverse on the hydrostatic. And uh, then on top of here, it wasn't before, but I've hooked in a home-built little box to control my uh, blower chute. It's a truck loading chute, so it's got a deflector on the top. So up on this uh, button here, lifts it up. Down, of course, pushes it down so I can put the snow wherever I want in the box. And then I got left and right on my chute so I can direct it anywhere I need to fill the box. 
As mentioned earlier, the unit still has the original 404 cubic inch turbocharged motor from the 915 Combine. Ford says it's not an overly powerful engine for blowing snow, but he's satisfied with its performance. You could always use more, but uh, the trouble with that is then you'd start, uh, there's usually you'd find a weak spot. So it's, uh, in my mind, it's a lot better to have uh, the weak spot to be a little bit underpowered on the engine instead of breaking stuff. He says he's happy with the results of this project simply because the snowblower has improved Calvington's snow removal system. The cost of the combine itself was around $2,500, not including the snowblower, various hydraulic hoses, and other miscellaneous parts.